What is up guys, it is Turbo here and welcome to episode 189 of the FIFA 13 career mode. Today we have two big matches for you, or one big match, another one uh, isn't so important, but we have the home home match against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League. It's going to be a key, key part of our success this season and perhaps a key part in me leaving the club at the end of the season. Obviously I have to be successful for a decent team to offer for me. Um... But yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be a big match against Borussia Dortmund. Uh, but first, we have the uh, the the small matter of Zaragoza in the league. And it's going to be a tough, tough match. I play my weaker team again. But have in mind, remember, this weaker team is not the weaker team at all. It's just my less experienced players. Gardner starts us off fantastically, blasting over the bar nice and early on before Ben Khalifa sets up Renman for an effort on goal. Well saved by the keeper, and they do eventually clear it out. But we were all over all over Zaragoza in the early stages. Redmond here on the ball, the league's top scorer for Sevilla. Uh, he is going to cut back inside, and eventually he's going to have a nice little uh, trick shot, I, I want to call it, trick pass, whatever, fancy pass into Rakitic, whose shot was deflected out wide, but... Zaragoza come, uh, come come the closest to taking the lead. Nice and early on in the second half that they had the chance. This is a pretty boring game, actually. I decided to make the triple threat substitutions, but nothing happened. So uh, we end 0-0, which isn't really good. It means that we potentially only have a 2-0 lead in the league after the 4-0 lead was established last episode. But whatever, Champions Cup time in the knockout stages now. And Borussia Dortmund is going to be a huge, huge match. Obviously, all the starting 11 are playing. I wouldn't have a Champions League match without the starting eleven. Where would we be without all these players? They are the most most important players. But Coutinho starts us off here, linking up well with Boney. Obviously, we have a two-two uh, previous result in the uh, in the away match. Two away goals is enough to pull us through if potentially we don't score. But we want a goal nice and early on, and that's exactly what we got here. Goethe eventually uh, Blazikowski actually losing out to Monkhouse. Monkhouse a lovely ball out wide to Neymar. Neymar is going to cut inside with his. Um, deadly deadly fake shot he's gonna pull it back and Coutinho is on hand to just put it into the empty net six minutes in and that was the first attack of the match and I'm very glad it went in because it set the tone set the pace for the rest of the match now that we have a 3-2 lead with two away goals have in mind um we are very comfortable and we are very able to just sit back and defend. A uh, lovely play by, by Coutinho to get into position. Minutes later, Insigne was set through. As you can see, he is not going to have any trouble finishing it this time. He shoots low and hard along the floor. And uh, the Borussia Dortmund keeper doesn't get the better of him, unlike last episode where Casillas did. That is his 14th goal of the season. I hope you would all uh, appreciate the fact that Insigne has come in and scored 14 goals for us this season. He is a animal up front. He uh, he scores pretty much every chance he has. Having said that, he does need to work a little bit on his finishing. Uh, sometimes when uh, uh, you know he gets everything on target, it's just a matter of beating the keeper sometimes. But Borussia Dortmund have a lifeline to get back into the match. Stephen Corker gives away a silly, silly penalty, tripping up the player needlessly. And... Uh, well, Lewandowski is going to step up and uh, probably going to score this. As you know, my keeper cannot move. Oh, wait. Lewandowski blasted it straight down the middle. And Diego Alves manages to keep a clean sheet for the... Uh, well, for now, really. For now. Uh, Neymar on the board. He is just going to use his pace to burn down that wing. Outpacing Piszczek, obviously. He's going to cut it back for Boney. And Boney, I don't know what that was. He went for the diving header and it wasn't really a good execution. Javi Hervas comes on into the second half for Coutinho. And later on following that, Campagna and Perotti come on. So as you can see, I'm taking off most of my good players. and just trying to replace them with uh, with players who are good at holding up the ball. But then Boney sealed the deal in the 90th minute. Went through, smacked it into the back of the net. He has scored 16 goals for us this season. Not as much of an animal as he was for us last season. But he is still right up there with the best player. Or with potentially the best player uh, of the club of the season and of the club's history. You know, he is one of those players. Lovely, lovely goal into the bottom corner, beating keeper hands down. We have another chance later on. Neymar uh, getting on to the end of a bony pass. Neymar is going to set it up back post for Diego Perotti, who comes on as a substitute and, go and gets the fourth goal, the winning goal. And he has only scored nine goals for us this season. Remember back in the early days, he was on like 40 goals a season in, in La Liga. I loved him personally. He is a great, great player, but... A nice header there to seal the deal. 4-0 is going to be the final result. And we do win 6-2 on aggregate, which is just a huge, huge result. It's imperative how important that is because we can go into the next stage of the Champions League knowing that we have beaten one of the best young sides out there. You know, they are quite 
I wouldn't say they're the inexperienced side. They're just quite a young side, and they, we have beaten them. We have demolished them 6-2. So, uh, you know, all the Sevilla supporters will be happy to know that. But anyway, guys, it is coming towards the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Four different goal scorers getting on the score sheet today. Um, here is a look at the league table. As you can see, like I say, we only have a two-point lead now. So the match against Real Madrid last episode was basically irrelevant because we didn't manage to win this episode. So we're going to have to step up our performances in the league. When I'm playing a weakened team, I expect them to win. It doesn't matter whether they're weakened or not. We are the best team in the league. So, uh, you know, they, we need to step up our performances, like I say. But in the Champions Cup, we are doing outstandingly. Real Madrid, potential candidates in the next round. Hopefully not. Um, but, you know, among them, we have a uh, Bayern Munich beating Man United 6-3, which is just imperative. Um, Chelsea winning 2-0 against Benfica. Uh, AC Milan go through. Arsenal go through. And Barcelona go out to the hands of Galatasaray, which is very interesting. Anyway, guys... If you have enjoyed it, if you could please leave a like, like I say, I would very much appreciate it. And apart from that, I will see you all next time. Bye!